You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Today we welcome back Philip Hasaurus, who is going to talk about one of the events of the year. Philip, welcome. Good to Thank see you. Thank you, Mark. My friend. Um, Voices of Diversity, Voices of America. We started this last year. Started, this would be the second year. We started last year. Second annual um, event. It's on Friday, November 1st, 6 to 9. It's a Friday night. The library is normally not open, but it is for this. Just for this event. Ten poets in ten languages. Let's talk about it. Ten poets, ten languages. They're going to be speaking in the language of the heritage and then translating that poem into English. Um, this year we're going to have Arabic and Cantonese, Cape Verdean, French, German, Greek, Haitian Creole, sign language we brought in, um, Spanish and Yiddish. Mm. So, and we have an, a, an array of people who will be presenting. We have five professors okay. from different colleges, from Bridgewater and Bunker Hill and Massasoit, um, and Decatur College, I believe we have a professor coming from there. We have our local poets, right. Joseph Polycape and Carly um, Pires and Inez Figueroa, who is head of the Lat Women's Latin Association. Mm -hmm. She's going to be reading a poem in, in Spanish and translating into English. And we even have a poet laureate, uh, the poet laureate of Brookline, who will be doing Yiddish. Right which I know was a challenge to try to get before. And nice addition to this, and I got a preview of them at the Greek Festival. Right. The Annunciation Greek Orthodox Church has the dance troupe in full In full dress. dress. Yep. Okay. And they will be performing um, under the direction of Penny Butterbau. She's the director at the, uh, at the church. Um, last year, we had just poetry. We had mm -hmm. 18 poets, which right. was... A little too too much. So this year we've cut it down to 10 poets, but we've brought in the dance troupe from the Annunciation Greek Orthodox Church and the Haitian choir from the Brockton Tabernacle Church. Which is Joe's church. Which is Joseph Pol Dr. Joseph Polycape's church. So the choir will be performing also. And I think we did it in the big atrium downstairs. Be, and that's where it will be. Which is acoustically a nice place yep. to do it. Yes, um, and hopefully we'll get enough people where people will be up in the yeah. up in the second floor and they can look down and watch it. But it's going to be an amazing night. Um, as I said, 10 languages, um, and the youngest poet is 16, and that would mm -hmm. be Carly Pires, Brockton High student. And we have our everything in between. Um, our elder poets, uh, we have a couple of poets who are in the 70s that are going to be reciting. So it's a, not only is it multicultural, it's multi-generational too. I see one of my colleagues from Massasoit is doing the Arabic, uh, Saswan. Sa so, yep. Saucen. Saucen. I always mess that up. I, I'm She's right a with you. wonderful yep. lady and a great professor. And then a uh, former colleague who I worked with, who is a professor at Bridgewater State, James G. H. Moore. James Moore, yeah. Okay. He's, He's going to be doing German. German, okay. And uh, Inez, um, is, is there food there? There will be, yep, there will be refreshments, absolutely. Okay. So um, this. In, as far as I'm concerned, is kind of an experience to behold, I think. I, e even with 18, it was long, but it was good. Mm -hmm. Okay? 10 is more manageable. I agree 100%. And I like the, I like the dance and the choir because right. I think that's going to add to well, it. Well, when we, when we were putting this together, we, we thought of the diversity, and then we went with voice, song, and dance because that's what cultures are. They have their, their songs and their dance and their voice. So we kind of put it all together and we invited uh, the Greek dance troupe and the Haitian choir. Next year, if we do it, when we do it again, we might bring in the Irish step dancers or yep. the Cape Verdean uh, drummers or, you know, African drums. So we're going to be uh, changing every year. Well, I think that's great because if you, if you think about the rich fabric that's Brockton, okay, always has been, probably always will be. So many different cultures. So many, I, I always say the thing that 
binds people together are music, song, mm -hmm. writing, poetry, and of course, food. Absolutely. Okay. Yep. Um, I, 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 I'm, I, I still have this big dream that I'm trying to convince somebody to do of an ethnic food festival, which is to get everybody together in one space. Because you can, you can sample it at different spaces. I want it all in one fell swoop. I mean, you know, the, we do the Taste of Metro South, mm -hmm. which is wonderful. Um, not so much on the cultural end of that. So if we could draw in the food, but you know, you you can. I always like to say you can learn something new every day. And when you're when you know, I, I, I my biggest regret in life is not learning other languages because I tell all my students if you learn another language, first of all, you're doubly marketable. If you're trilingual, forget bilingual, trilingual. Some of them come to my class with five languages oh. under their belt, and it's amazing. And slowly but surely, the more that we do with this, the more. Um, I pick up phrases and different things and like we that. And we learn the Delf different cultures. And um, I don't want to go without saying that Ali Brioso yes. is going to be the host. Okay. So she's going to take you right through all the poets and the dance troupe. And Paul Engel will be introducing um, the whole event. You know, he'll give the opening speech. So Paul Engel will be there. Ali Brioso will be the host. And the poets can't wait to come. Um, you know, to our city. That's that's the whole thing. Mm -hmm. These poets, a lot of the poets are, are from Boston, Providence. They're coming to our city to present. And you've brought them here for the everyone has a voice too. Uh, little by little, they're coming. They're to coming. To, they're, they're because realize. you do think of the other places. You know, if you think Cambridge, a lot of people like Harvard, intellectual. Well, you know what? There's plenty of people that either went through Harvard or went through one of the Ivy Leagues in, in Brockton, mm -hmm. okay? Maybe they came back, okay? But you don't think of us as a, as a, 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 a art center. And no. It's, there's been work done for years by different people, you, yourself, yeah. other folks in the community that, uh, you know, when we had funding, a lot of funding for the Office of Cultural Affairs and the Mayor's Office, that was done for, for years. But people are filling the void. Volunteers are filling the void working with the staff. We, we have a wonderful staff at Brockton Public Library who help bring in like They do. Um, yeah. You know, uh, just I covered an event recently there for the uh, Latin Women's Association. And not only was it a great event with music, song, and dance, but Inez knows how to feed everybody. She so does. There's no question about it. And I don't care what kind of food. Lebanese yep. festival just happened. Greek festival just happened. In the summer, it'll be the Cape Verdean yep. Festival, Haitian Community Partners. And they're all under this roof speaking poetry, which is they cool. are. So and I am honored that Inez, um, who we, you know, who we t we're talking about, she's going to actually say uh, an original poem, one of her poems. That's great. Um, very, uh, very dramatic, and it's about her, about what happened to her um, when she was younger. So it's going to be very. I'm looking forward to it, and if I can uh, put on my thinking cap, maybe I'll remember some Yiddish. My <laughs> grandparents used to talk Yiddish, but they used to talk it when they didn't want us to know what they were talking about. So we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see if any of it comes back. But, Phil, thanks for doing what you do. Oh, thank you, Mark. I'm looking forward to it, and we'll be there, but you have to go. So November 1st, Friday, November 1st, 6 to 9, doors will open at 5.30 at the Brockton Public Library, Voices of Diversity, Voices of America. Be there. You're watching Greater Brockton. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.